Hello and welcome back. I thought in today's video that I would do a little recap and perhaps a, a more um, progressive set of exercises um, going back over some of the things that I've already covered. Um, starting in sitting in front of a chair which is comfortable where hopefully you can sit um, a bit closer to the edge so that your feet are nice and flat on the floor. Um, if you watched my previous video um, about discovering um, which leg is more dominant than the other, just become aware of that in sitting. It's quite often it's the same case that we'll, we will stand on, our, on the dominant leg and we will sit on the dominant leg just because our brain prefers and trusts the feedback it gets from that leg. So just be a little bit aware of that and it's quite nice um, to make sure that we are sitting evenly and that we can rock and very gently move. With our rocking it doesn't have to be massive movements and actually sometimes very small movements can be very effective in things like re relaxing muscles and reducing pain. So it doesn't have to be big to be brilliant, it can be quite uh, small movements to make quite a big difference to people. So just in this sitting have a little rock forwards and backwards, side to side, always being aware of your feet on the floor so that your legs are very much a part of your movement and not something that's just kind of there while you move. So we want the feet and the legs to be active because when we come to standing up we want the feet and the legs to, the, to be the main part which is active when we're standing. And so loosening up, of course in my first video we were doing stretches up and opening out. It's really nice to open the side muscles always following the rules which are that we keep within what feels nice. The whole idea of these exercises and these videos is to build confidence and to make um, you feel much happier about movement and that can only be achieved if you're doing the movements and you're feeling happy while you're doing them. A little bit of rotation, turning one way and then the other. Rocking back and down. And pay attention to your feet again. Really make sure that they're quite well grounded. Check they're in the place that you're happy to stand up on. Using your arms and remembering not to push back with the back of the knees. Remember when we did this in the video a few back. So just standing up, finding your balance. And depending on um, how that is for you, you can work on that, not using your hands and seeing how low can you go. And coming up again. So really working on strength of the quads and pushing up through the legs. For me, this is the most efficient way of strengthening quads um, rather than doing that in sitting because you're pushing up your whole body weight, which is really what the job of the quads is. Um, I'm quite a lazy exerciser, so I like to do the exercises which are the most efficient and make the most gains in the quickest time. So from there you're exploring your own balance. Take a moment to stop, paying attention to your feet. Take a very small sway again. Always being aware of where are you tending to want to be. Are you tending to want to be over to the right, like I do. Um, trying to come over to so that you're even. Explore the other side. Have a feel and then maybe have a little explore of what's happening at your knees when you're going from one side to the other. It might be that you feel much more comfortable to have your knees a little bit bent takes the strain off the lower back um, and so with your knees a little bit bent just explore that explore swaying maybe all the way down and all the way up again and then with the surface by the side of you just going to move the chair up the surface by the side of you, thinking about standing up as tall as you possibly can and again grounding yourself, 
working on lifting one leg and then the other. And thinking about working on your balance and working towards being able to lift your hands so that you can balance without using your hands. Of course staying within your own boundaries, within what's safe for you. But it, this is where we're aiming for. And then after that we're aiming for being able to move in much bigger motions. Can you turn? And then evening it up, making sure you're doing it on both legs. Because although we want to reactivate the less listened to leg, it's quite important to do things in an even manner. Finally, finishing off with, if you remember very early on, I talked about stimulating the inner ear and doing turning and going back to doing maybe a whole turn and then a whole turn in the opposite direction. Have a look at that video, um, I think it's about the third or the fourth video that I've done, um, which is talking about turning um, and turning in a safe manner so that we can get happy with turning again because it's such an important part of our everyday function. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop there. That was just a quick recap of some of the exercises that we've gone through. Every day, um, making sure that you're working on um, becoming much more aware of your feet and in particular trying to waken up um, if you have a side that tends to be slightly uh, less listened to, slightly lazy, uh, slightly less dominant um, than the other side. Stay safe, have fun. Uh, the main aim is to enjoy moving again. So finding what feels good um, and playing around with that um, in, a, in a safe and effective manner. See you again soon.